Hi there, poor neglected viewers. I'm so sorry to have abandoned you in such dramatic circumstances this last week. But I'm back. I'm so back. So, it's hard to know where to start. So much is going on. I've had a lot of requests. But thinking about it all, um, I thought this return video will be about Mula and see what he's up to, what strategies he's employing, and we'll take it from there, right? So I'm going to do a quick one now on Robert Muller III. I think he's the third, isn't he? <laughs> so we'll have a look at how he's holding up. I was reading an article where someone was saying he's looking very grey and drawn and stressed, and that wouldn't be surprising. Um, I'm hoping he's okay. All right, so we'll do a general one on Muller and then where he feels it's going. So how is Robert Muller? How is Robert Muller going? Oh, I hope he's okay. Robert Muller. Bring the screen down now. Here we have it, viewers. Oh, I'm quite pleased here, have to say. All right, in the centre for Muller, the Three of Wands, right, let me adjust this screen slightly, the Three of Wands, he has been doing extensive work involving commerce and trade, which is what the Three of Wands is about, international commerce and trade over the water so we know that is his domain as well of course as obstruction of justice and other issues but here it's talking about him following the money and where it has led in this five card reading this is his recent past the Apprentice card, its meaning in this context is attention to detail. Exquisite attention to detail has been required for this job. No one could have done it more thoroughly than Muller. So his stage of proceedings um, has, well, coming to an end is... It's probably a bit premature for that, but the hard work's been done. This is in the past, the attention to detail. Underneath, the magician. He has been a magician. To work under the pressure this man must have been under is amazing. Now, let's look at the magician card for a moment. Notice the arms on the diagonal. That's connecting heaven and earth. He is working as the magician with all the suits. So all the elements of fire, air, earth and water, he's brought them all to the table and worked his magic of weaving a story out of all this mountain of information. How's he feeling at the moment? Well, yes, <laughs> the hanged man, but don't worry, viewers, doesn't mean he's got a noose around his neck. Things, on the one hand, are hotting up, as we know, but on another, they're kind of suspended. I suspect this is referring to he will do whatever he's going to do in this next week, and then things are suspended between the 1st of September and the midterms. So, in other words, the rest of the investigations and details on those investigations will be in a holding pattern. But, as we will see, he has done his part in all this. He has done his part. This is a willing sacrifice, right? This is not someone being tortured. It's a willing sacrifice. He did this 
for America. Outcome, good, Ace of Cups, love it. Emotional release for Muller coming up, as you can imagine. Talk about pressure. Um, he's been magnificent. There's no reason to doubt him in any capacity at this point. So what I'd like to look at now is his strategies between now and the midterms because he'll still be working behind the scenes while we're all, you know, having to be inundated with all the crap that's going to go on in the next few months. He'll be working away. So, what's in store? I've heard, hopefully something will come out about this, he has elected to use what's called speaking indictments. Anyone out there heard that phrase? I hadn't. The Australian lawyers are interested. Like the American um, attorneys, they're saying these are rarely used speaking indictments. What does it mean? Well, apparently it means as he hands out each indictment for another person, you tell more of the story. So normally what happens when someone's indicted, there's the bare bones of the legal case and then um, political commentators and journalists and everyone, they go, oh, what does this mean? You know, oh, this second bullet point might mean this and it might mean that. A speaking indictment is much more upfront and it throws the cards on the table. Oh, cards on the table. In other words, it really puts out there what the indictment is about and where it sits in relation to other indictments and the bigger story. So he's chosen to use this, um, apparently lawyers are saying, as well as other commentators, He's using this because it's forewarning future people who are about to get indictments. We have everything on you. So as opposed to me, Lena, getting an indictment thinking, oh, what have they got? Oh, maybe they haven't got enough. I'll just lie and fudge. No, it's saying we've got it. So speaking indictments, but also I just wanted to learn a little bit about Muller's strategy. Yes, 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 well, yes. Okay, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, this is what I was just describing in a way. As people get their indictments, and there are more coming, we won't be able to count them in the end, viewers. There's already been dozens and dozens and dozens, and don't forget, he got a hundred subpoenas at a blank subpoenas at a time that will translate into indictments for some of those people deals will be struck this is the card of being offered something you don't want there are a lot of people already but in the very near future who are being offered things they don't want that is the deal from the FBI, from Muller and his team, etc., going, are you with us or against us? You either roll over on someone else or you're going away for a very long time and the choice is up to you. So this is the figure, not wanting to take what is offered, but that's their call. You'll notice Manafort is still the only one that we know of who's held out, obviously, hoping to Christ he's going to get a, a pardon, but that's another issue. Everyone else has rolled, right? And I see that pattern continuing, but of course it's getting juicier because it's getting closer to the trumpet. Okay, back we go. Muller's strategy, sword of truth, just cutting through the crap, making people these offers. He, in this capacity, is the hierophant. Government, law and order, the way things are done, there is no longer an escape 
for these people, one after the other, one after the other. And I'm coming to get you with the club. So you either speak the truth, this is the card of speaking the truth, or you experience the club, the blunt instrument. So it's a very clear strategy from here on in. He's done with casting the net wide and fishing and seeing what he can find out. He's got all the goods, so it's a matter now of picking off the players one by one. So I want to know, and I'm sure you want to know, viewers, will it get to the family? So I suppose it's too much to hope that a family member will be indicted next week. So we're reaching here a bit further out and asking the general question, is Muller intending to indict Trump family members? Trump family members. Is Muller going after the family? Is Muller going after the family? We shall see. Yes. Oh, dear, oh, dear, Trump. Oh, okay. Well, the answer to that would be that, yes, he's followed the money as he has from the beginning. He's followed the Trump money because that was the question. What has he found? Well, he's found fool's gold. So notice one of the things in the weight deck, rider weight deck, that gap in the hedge, repeated experiences. He's going to pluck them off one by one. It's going to be up to them who rolls and who goes under. The aces are a primary force, so he's going ahead. This is the death card, viewers. This is the death of the family as a financial unit and as an emotional unit. They're not going to come out the other side of this. Some are going to talk and some are going away. Think about the symbology of that phrase for a moment. Yes. And the temperance card. Let me just show you this here. The temperance card. The symbology of this is really interesting. Pouring from one cup to another. Temperance is also about integration, but really importantly, the temperance card represents negotiation. So the answer is yes. He's going to go for the family. Who rolls on who, we will find out. Now, I'm going to be doing more videos today for you, so I'm going to start stocking you up again. So, um, Alan Weiselberg, I did a reading on him, and yes, that's coming to pass, of course. He's the Chief Financial Officer of the Trump Organization and has been for 40 years. So he's got the dirt fully on everybody, specifically Donald. He, according to one associate, said knows where every dime came from and where every dime went. He's going to wriggle, he's going to squirm, he's going to pay very expensive lawyers. Will he give away this much or this much? The point is, how much pressure can Muller put on Weiselberg? So let's have a quick look at that. And then I'll go and I'll come back in a little while. Probably with a reading on Barbara Underwood. But in the meantime, this is a top up. Weiselberg. Is he going to go all the way with Weiselberg? Oh, the spy. 
I don't even know. Oh, let me share this experience with you. <laughs> um, I'm going to stick my neck out, viewers, and say, even if you hear he's not giving everything, he's, it's partial disclosure, that is not the case. The Page of Swords, the card of the spy, the inner workings of the organisation. He's holding on to his own money. He gets the miser card. This is the only card in the Rider Waite deck that has an image of a city. A few of the cards have an odd castle or something. City, it's not unlike New York, is it not, viewers? This is him trying to hold on not only to his money but to what's left of his reputation and lifestyle, holding on. And if it comes to his family or the Trump family, no prizes for guessing. Muller's there helping him make that decision. This is, for me, always the Muller card. The King of Swords. Your call, Alan. Here come the swords. And the sun shining. <coughs> On the filth and greed and corruption. Oh, so Weiselberg's a goner, so he will roll, and there we have it. All right, I'll let you go now, viewers, but I'll be back very soon, like I promised. Bye. If I can get my mouse to work, otherwise you're stuck with me. Oh, there we go. Bye.